Welcome to another video of Crafty and DIY with Nora. We are still in Valentine mode here. So I am doing this project. And again, I spoke about this on the last project. These are paint stick mixers. I got these at Home Depot. They were about 10 for 98 cents. I should have gotten a whole bunch of these because I really love them. But let's do this project. This is a quick project. I'm going to do a window. The window. But I want the window a little longer. No. A little wider. So, I extended. I don't know if you can see. I extended the stick a little further. So, instead of. Let me bring it up. So instead of being right here, I'm going to put it like right here. I hope you understand what I'm saying and I'll show you. First thing first. Never leave home without it. A dash. <clears throat> Hold on to it. You see? to mess it up. Wrong way. Okay. See how it has this like a ruler? I don't mind the showing either because it gives it like its own kind of style. Okay. Let me see something. Lisa Wood Dallas. I got fun. Dollar Tree also.
gonna hold these down for a couple of seconds. And I want some chicken, chicken wires on this too, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use for that. They're kinda expensive, so. But the way I'm gonna do it, it's just gonna cost you 99 cents. Come on. Let me hold on to this. And there you have it. Your window. Okay, guys, next step is we are going to stain it. This is what I use. I'll leave the name of the stainer I use on the link. The li on the link. So what you're going to do is you're going to dap. And wipe. And this is good to to do it in a well ventilated place. I have um, a mask on. I don't know if you can see. Let me bring this down. And you're going to do the same thing with the heart. Let's do these sticks a little more. If you want a little darker and you could do it a little darker. You see? I don't know. Let me add a little bit more to this. this. There you go, you have your window. Now I'm gonna do, put this aside, let it dry up. Now we're gonna do the heart. Cut this piece off.
You see the grain to the to the wood. Look at that. That's why I love to use the stain better. Next up, I cleaned my work area. We don't look clean, but I did. I always have a pack of baby wipes. Okay. We'll take our heart. We could use our finger. It's just gonna be parts that you want it to look distressed. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do the frame or, or the heart. The last time I did the frame, let me do the heart this time. This craft smart paint. Putting it down. Reach over here. I used the uh, these are uh, soda bottles. I cut them and I use these as paint. That's it. So I'm going to let this dry up and give it a second coating. Okay, guys, it's dried up. I gave it a second coating. Now, again, like I said, I've seen people use this, but I've always used this. I'm, I'm willing to try new things, so we're going to try this. Let's see. And now, Stick with what? With what I know. Okay, I got this Dollar Tree basket. What I'm gonna do is remove the rim and this, remove this bottom part. Don't throw this away. You can use it for something else.
Don't throw away this. You can use it for something else. So we're going to cut it down this middle. Now we're going to cut it down the middle. And what we're going to do, we are going to open it. Stretch it out. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I got it cut down. It took me a while and it hurt my fingers. You know, there's things I won't do on video because this takes too long and it's going to take the whole video. So I cut it up. I did two pieces. So what I did, you can't see it, so let me... I painted it brown with my um folks art um truck paint Java because I didn't want it white. So I'm gonna let this dry so I can hit the back. But I'm gonna put this right here for a minute. And do the next one. I cut them in two pieces because they were long. They weren't wide. They were long. You see? There you go. So whether I'm going to staple these to the back or hot glue, we'll see. Okay. It's snowing out here, so this is like my second craft today. I'm home by myself. The house is quiet. And I'm going to let this dry up and do the back. So, okay, guys, the stapling worked. You see? Look how cute. So, we're going to add on the other one. I had cut this the long way. My battery is going low. I might not be able to finish this part. I had cut it the long way. I had another choice, so I had to do it in two pieces. So we're gonna add on this other piece. I need a big table. I need a big office, because this is not, I need a good stapler. go
<laughs> oh, <laughs> made a window with chicken wire. Okay. You see? Now I'm going to add a tumbler in the middle here so it can give it an uplift. Look how stinking cute. So let me bring my flowers out and see how we're going to decor this heart. Okay, I set them up the way I want to. I want them to look. So I'm going to turn it this way. You see, this takes me a long time to situate and organize the way I really want to. Because if I do it while I'm taping, I feel like I'm going to rush myself because the camera is rolling. In the bottom at the description box at the bottom, I'm going to have the link on how to do these paper flowers. so far oh I hate these webs show you real quick how I do my my little bows no fancy technique I'll get one more depending how fat you want them I got four of these so what I do I'm do a tutorial on how I do because you get tired explaining how you do you just fold them See? I take a piece. And you tie it.
Oh, Lord. <laughs> Starting to feel sick. Got a huge headache. I'm going to do several of these. I'll be right back. <laughs> 